This bonus episode is brought to you by Nurtec ODT Remedjapant, 75 milligrams, orally disintegrating tablets. Hey, this is Jason Alexander for Visible Wireless. You know, some wireless companies say they have no yada yada, but details matter. You should know what you're signing up for. So yada yada, I'm reading this ad for Visible. On the Visible plan, get one line of wireless on Verizon's 5G network for $25 a month every month. That's unlimited data, text, talk, and hotspot for $25 a month, all taxes and fees included. No surprises, like some other guys. Learn more about Visible Wireless and Visible's data management practices at Visible.com. Additional terms apply. Hello. From Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about comedians, women throughout history who've made us laugh. They transgressed societal norms through comedy and often spoke out against injustice using their sharp wit. Today, we're talking about a woman who was known as the godmother of the L.A. comedy scene. She was a talent scout and mentor for many generations of comedians as the longtime owner of a famous comedy club. Her approval could make or break your career. Let's talk about Mitzi Shore. Mitzi was born on July 25, 1930, and was raised in Green Bay, Wisconsin. One summer in the 1950s, she was working at a Wisconsin resort when she met Sammy Shore, an American actor and comedian. The two soon married and moved to California. The couple had four children. Mitzi integrated into Sammy's comedy lifestyle, hanging around performers like Don Rickles and Rodney Dangerfield. Sammy's comedy star was on the rise he secured a gig opening for Elvis Presley at the Las Vegas Hilton for three years. Following the stint with Elvis, Sammy and Mitzi decided to start their own comedy club in L.A. on the Sunset Strip. Mitzi suggested that they call their new business venture The Comedy Store. Mitzi and Sammy opened The Comedy Store in 1972. When the couple divorced just two years later, Mitzi took full control of the business. She wanted the store to be a place where comics would come to hone their craft. She once said, We're like a school or a boxer's gym. We're here to help people develop their skills and to get them seen by supportive comedy crowds as well as by TV and movie people. At the time, the comedy store was the only showcase for stand-up in town, and it quickly became a hotbed for talent. David Letterman was an early MC, and beloved performers like Robin Williams, Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Sandra Bernhard, and Jim Carrey were all graduates of the Comedy Store. Johnny Carson, the host of The Tonight Show at the time, would often use the club to recruit young comedians to perform on his program. Under Mitzi's leadership, the Comedy Store grew from one 99-seat space to a three-showroom venue. She even had special performance spaces in the club reserved for queer, Latino, and female comics. Mitzi was the sun at the center of the comedy store solar system. Her approval meant everything. On Mitzi's desk, there was a sign that read, It is a sin to encourage mediocre talent. She was very opinionated, and comedians deeply valued her advice. Over the years, controversy surrounded the business. Mitzi was criticized for not paying her comics, and some went on strike in 1979 to protest. But the business survived and is still open today. When Mitzi died in 2018 at the age of 87, comedians like David Letterman, Bob Saget, and Mark Maron reflected on how influential she'd been in launching their careers. The comedy store remains Mitzi's legacy, a unique space where talented comedians can shine. All month, we're talking about comedians. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Tune in tomorrow for a special bonus episode brought to you by Nurtech. Talk to you then. If you're prescribed Nurtech ODT, Remedjapan 75 milligrams for migraine attacks, does the fear of running out of medication stop you from treating every migraine attack? If so, ask about two eight-packs per month. That's 16 tablets, and most insurance plans cover it. Nurtech ODT is approved for the acute treatment of migraine attacks and preventive treatment of episodic migraine in adults. Don't take if allergic to Nurtech ODT or any of its ingredients. Allergic reactions can occur even days after using and include trouble breathing, rash, and swelling of the face, mouth, tongue, or throat. 
Most common side effects were nausea and indigestion stomach pain. A maximum dose of 75 milligrams can be taken daily to treat migraine attacks or every other day to prevent them. The safety of using more than 18 doses of Nurtec ODT in a 30-day period has not been established. For full prescribing information, call 1-833-4-NURTEC or visit nurtech.com. Double the packs to treat more migraine attacks. Ask your doctor if two eight packs of Nurtec ODT is right for you. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Residents at Brightview Senior Living Communities enjoy enhanced possibilities, independence, and choice. Brightview Dulles Corner in Herndon offers vibrant senior independent living, assisted living, and memory care services through an array of daily programs and cultural events, chef-prepared meals, safety and security, transportation, resort-style amenities, and high-quality care. Everything you need is here. Discover more at brightviewdulluscorner.com. Equal housing opportunity. 